Alright and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. And as you can see, I bought a double bed for Garbage and Mercury so that they can finally sleep together in the same room. Hopefully she'll go sleep over there. I've been trying to have her do that for quite some time. But yep, that is pretty cool. And Mercury will also be starting um, her first day of work tomorrow as a businesswoman, which is pretty cool. What are you doing in here, Shirley? You're so creepy. I think that she's just like checking out the new objects and stuff, which is nice and all. But uh, we should probably have her do something else. And for some reason, she's going to go complain about art to her son. Which probably isn't the best thing, because I mean, he is artistic, so he loves art. So that's probably going to hurt their relationship just a tiny bit. But anyways, let's have Plastic go ahead and go shower and then get some rest. Because he will have his first day of high school tomorrow. And when he goes to high school, I'll be sure to have him try to meet new friends. Uh, that way, you know, he can have a bit more of a social life since he has been out of town for so, so long. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Kate and D-Bag are doing up so late. Well, actually, she is really well rested and so is D-Bag. So, are they both hungry? No, okay. After she finishes eating this food, I'll have them go to a lot so that they can hang out with each other because the relationship right now is still kind of rocky and um, you know, I would prefer if they would be more in love with each other before they die because they're both 92 days old so I really have no idea when um, they're going to you know die but man let's go ahead and go over here um Suki is taking a swim at five in the morning I guess that's a pretty typical thing for her to do uh, but let's see if someone will go ahead and invite us inside um, oh where is Lara is she around here somewhere? I don't even see her. I wonder if she's already at this house for some reason, because this isn't where she lives. But whatever. Hopefully... Oh my god, okay, visit the lot with the group, please. And, uh-oh, Paris is actually going to greet us at the door. So she's probably not going to let us in, because she's rude as hell. But, uh, you know what this means? I wonder if we can fight her. Uh, yes we can! So <laughs> let's go ahead and get in a rumble with her. And while that's happening, let's see if D-Bag can ring the door again and see if uh, we can get Yulitsa to come out. Oh, alright, wow, Kate beat up Paris relatively fast, and I think that she's going to retreat indoors now, maybe. Not quite sure. But, uh, <laughs> really, we just want to talk to Yulitsa, and I guess that seeing uh, Paris be beaten up by Kate really turned D-Bag on or something, because he's doing all these little romantic interactions. All right, that's enough, you. Um, oh, it's almost gonna be Shirley's birthday, which is kind of crazy, um, only because that means that Kate and Matthew as well are both going to be elders soon. So who knows how long D-Bag and Kate are gonna be around because man, they are getting old. So hey, we could go swimming or just have a nice chat. Um, I'm actually gonna have them Okay, well, I guess this area isn't that great for a date. Maybe we should have them go to a park. You know what? I've actually never gone to this park over here. So let's go to Marina Field and um, see what's up over there. I wonder if there's anything that they can do there. That way we can uh, increase their relationship. And where is Kate? Where are you? Okay, there you are over there. And you are following the leader of D-Bag. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do a bunch of romantic interactions and hopefully we can um, get their relationship bar much, much higher because right now it's just kind of crap and we really do need to increase it. Okay, we, we don't need to. It's just something dumb that I want to do before they die so that they still are in love with each other because when they were fighting with each other a few parts ago, that really bummed me out. But here we go. I think that they have fallen in love again. I think seeing the hatred of Paris together has brought them together. So you know what? Maybe Paris isn't all that bad because it makes other people remember that they don't hate each other, I guess. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm just going to have them keep doing these romantic interactions so that they can finally be in a good relationship with each other. I wonder, if is there anywhere they could woohoo publicly? I'm not sure. Um, no. Uh, 
at least not, not that I could think of the top of my head right now. Is there anyone else here? Oh, who are you? What are you doing here? Where are you? Are you dancing to something? She's thinking about a dragon while I think talking to herself or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yes, I'm going to have Mercury go ahead and start going to work early. And I'm going to have her suck up uh, to the boss because she needs to increase her relationship with that before she can, you know, get a promotion easier. And let's see. I forgot that Plastic's at school now. Wow, he's been there for quite some time. And he wants to sign up for some after-school activities and also does want to get a part-time job. So let's see. Let's go ahead and sign up for the art club because he is artistic and it's not one that Garbage has been in. Garbage went into the music and drama club. And the other one, I'll have him go ahead and sign up for sports club uh, seeing as he, since he loves the outdoors. And uh, he's also a vegetarian, so I'm assuming that he'd be someone that would like to become physically fit. And that seems just about right. All right. Um, let's just do a couple more of these and then we'll have them end the date because uh, their relationship's getting back to normal, which is pretty nice. And there we go. You know what would be kind of cool if like you could have your sims renew their vows or something? Actually, I'm not sure if they can do that. Probably not. But that would be kind of neat. And all right. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and end the date. Uh, to ask sleep date, I guess, yeah. And then we'll have them go back home. Because now they like each other a lot more than they did uh, earlier today. So that's something. And there's a lot of people coming to this park, surprisingly. And <laughs> All right. Now, Mercury, let's see. Oh, man, she is very thirsty. Oh, crap, that's not good. Um, will she fulfill her thirst when she's at work? I hope so. Um, because if not, that would suck really, really bad. And I didn't even realize that there was actually, like, a barista, uh, that just kind of hangs out by the business building over here. So, that's pretty cool. Who is this chick over here? She's, like, wearing almost nothing. I don't know. Maybe she was swimming in the fountain or something. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but, um, we should probably have Garbage go get a job. Um... His lifetime wish, I think, is just to master the charisma and guitar skill. So, oh, look at that. He actually wants to join the music career. So I'll go ahead and do that. I know that's not, like, the most exciting career, but it just kind of makes sense with his whole uh, lifetime wish. So I'll have him go join the music career. And, oh, look at that. Plastic Bag is bringing home um, a friend, Anita Colby. Interesting. But wait, before you go home, I want you to sign up for the after-school activities. And, uh, come on, go back inside and sign up for after-school activities, please. I don't know if he's still gonna go home with her or not. Probably not, but... Oh, what's this? Um, oh, you know what? The art club probably conflicts with the sports club. Um, so let's see what other after-school activities he can take. So... He can also join shop or newspaper. What the hell is shop? Is this like wood shop? Well, we'll find out. Or I wonder if it's a club where you literally just like shop. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, oh, look, that's Jason Parker. I'm like, why does he look familiar? That's because this is uh, Josie's stepbrother. And I think he's wearing those pink jelly shoes, which is pretty awesome. Um, he looks kind of miserable. What's wrong with him? Actually, I didn't get to see his facial structure that much last time. But you can definitely see uh, Josh's face pretty strong in that, and he inherited Josie's hair color. But let's see. What is this? Go on a field trip. Okay, hopefully one of those will come up soon. And there's our butler! Or no, it's not. It's just someone that looks exactly like our old butler, only this time he is a paparazzi. Interesting. But yep, he signed up for the shop club. Uh, that is pretty awesome. Okay, yeah, it is a wood shop. That's what I figured. Um, now, let's go ahead and get him a part-time job. I think that Keeley's actually working at the spa. Um, we can find out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the spa icon. So, where is that at, actually? Is it over here? I always feel like I can never find anything. Here it is. Alright, day spa. Let's go ahead and... Uh, can we not get a job here? Maybe not. Um, hmm. You know, I'd never go to the spa in this game, ever. I kind of forget that that place exists sometimes. What about the bookstore or business? I don't know. Why can't you get a job anywhere? 
Can we still get a job at the graveyard, do you think? Let's see. Huh. I don't know. I guess uh, maybe he has too many after-school activities that he can't join a part-time job or something. Like, maybe all the times conflict with each other. I'm not quite sure. I might be doing something wrong. It's been quite a while. But, wow, we have a tourist over here at the graveyard for some reason. Didn't we leave? You probably... What? You don't know that person. Who are you? Are you another tourist? Why do the tourists come to the graveyard to cry so much? Um, as I was saying, though, I, I thought that we dropped, like, garbage's homework around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but once, you know, Kate and all of them start to die eventually, I think I am going to bring all of their tombstones over here and probably make, like, a little special area for them. Um... You know, I might actually just delete some of the old tombstones and make room for one like over here or something. But let's see what's happening with Plastic. So he is talking to the paparazzi over there that looks exactly like our old butler. I swear, it's like the same exact... Look at that! There's like two of them! See? Right there! They look exactly alike. That is so crazy to me. Whatever. Go home. Stop talking to creep. You are very tired and you need to work on your homework as well. So we'll have him go to sleep and then do his homework on his tab cast because it's faster that way. And all right, so how is her relationship with her boss? Now it's great, so that's good. I'll have her keep doing that. And all right, she did fulfill her thirst. That's good. I was kind of worried about that. Um, and hopefully, oh, you know what kind of sucks about this though? Um, she just joined the business career. And soon enough, she's actually going to get pregnant, which means, you know, she's going to be on maternity leave for quite some time. But whatever. Matthew got paid 2,600 simoleons for personal time off. I don't know why he has personal time off from the start, but whatever. Um, where is Garbage? So is he like... Okay, he's still over there by the little music theater area. You know what? Since there's... Is that... Oh my god, he's everywhere! You're everywhere! You were just at the school, and now you're over here at the music theater. I swear, there's like clones of them. But, like I was saying, I'm gonna have Garbage go ahead and start playing for tips outside of the movie theater. Um, since, you know, there is some people here. And what is this vampire doing out in the middle of the day? Whoa, whoa, game, hello! I was looking at Garbage over there, and you zoom all the way over here just to show me Mercury, you know turn a little pregnant maybe did she i can't even tell right now uh maybe if we transform her into her everyday where we'll see the difference ah yep yeah, there we go so she has the next four work days off as maternity leave so that's cool i guess i don't know let's have her go ahead and go back home um so yeah that's awesome though that means that she is getting closer to you know giving birth and oh god did she uh <laughs> surely got demoted I, what the hell i don't know what happened with that i guess i wasn't paying attention to her job performance or something but it's not like it matters really we don't really need money anymore um but yeah i think mercury will be giving birth to the fourth generation right let's see so this is first, second, third. Yeah, yeah. So that would be cool. That would be the start of the fourth generation, which will be pretty sweet. And, um, all right. Now, where is Garbage? Okay, he's still over here. But he did he not even get to play for tips that much? I guess he didn't. And now you're going to just play the blues. Okay. Hey, you, give us some money. Little Bling. Little Bling, that is the best name ever. <laughs> And uh, Lil Bling seems to really like Garbage's playing, so that's pretty awesome. And you know what? Screw you. We're not going to give you an autograph. You were the one that was all excited first, so let's go ahead and give you one to Lil Bling. Because, you know, that guy was real cool, and he has such a cool name. So there we go. Garbage is already becoming a famous rock star. So let's go ahead and <laughs> go back home. And um, anyways, guys, that's all for now. Um, when we come back, I'm definitely going to have Plastic hang out with Keely. It's just after school, he was so exhausted and he had to sign up for the after school activities and all that stuff. But, um, oh, it's barely Monday. 
But let's see. Okay. Oh, he has plenty of days to, you know, start interacting with her. So I'm definitely going to, you know, have him go out on a proper date with Keely. I know that they're already, like, boyfriend and girlfriend. But maybe we could have them go to a club or um, some type of community lot to hang out. And what is this? What? I guess maybe the paparazzi was attacking the pea shooter. I don't, I don't know. These paparazzis are crazy. But <laughs> like I said, see you guys later. Bye.